give you an update on the quail chicks. It's been about a week now, and I just wanted to show you that they are growing. I like to point out that, oh, they love pooping in the water, but they do not poop in the food for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Now, I'd more than anything, I'd like to give you an update on this one right here. This is, uh, well, we've named him Flopsy. He is the smallest of the bunch. And he had the, uh, what's called, I think it's saddle leg disorder. It's where the chick's legs don't really work right. And, you know, they're all splayed out and everything. And a lot of people suggest using rubber bands or, um, bandages, you know. You know, you can see that one. He's trying to fly. Quite a few of them are starting to jump and flap their wings and get a little stronger but anyway back to Flopsy a lot of people suggest using bandages and rubber bands and you know different types of ties and everything and I would just like to kind of show you what worked best you can see you know if you watched my first video with them you can see he was kind of just laying there with a little tie around his leg. Now, this is what the tie was. It's just a regular twist tie you would get, um, you know, with a loaf of bread or anything like that. And I cut it a little shorter so that his legs would be underneath him. A lot of the birds like to kind of sit on top of him. But, anyhow, I noticed that... You know after a couple of days and he was able to kind of walk just far enough that you know he could get to the food and he loved diving in the food and eating so much um but he could walk just you know a decent amount but his legs were underneath him and i noticed that the twist ties were kind of cutting off his circulation and his legs were growing but they were being pinched by and that's him again um they were being pinched by the twist ties so all in all i think the twist ties worked the best for him but as you can see you know his legs are pretty strong i don't know if you can actually see it here but Oh, his legs are actually filling out quite nicely. He actually was kind of constricted by the footholds. And it kind of left a mark on his feet. So I took them off. And since then, he's been doing remarkably well. He's getting stronger every day. So... I would urge you, you know, my girlfriend was like, yeah, we have to put them down. But there are ways to really improve the saddle leg. You can see this one here, him. He has a little bit of a messed up foot. But he lives a very productive life. He's very happy. He gets around quite well. But his foot is kind of bent out. And uh, I've heard that you can kind of fix that by kind of massaging the feet out. But, you know, in all actuality, I think he's going to be quite fine. He's going to be in a completely enclosed, you know, little flight pen. And I think he's going to be quite safe, and I think he's going to do okay. I might try massaging that foot out, and I might have a little updated video for you guys. But so far, you know, Flopsy, he's kind of doing much better. They've almost doubled in size, and it's really only been a, about a week. So it's truly remarkable the amount of growth that they go through. I've been changing the water regularly. You can kind of see that there's some some poop in it and everything. And I've been adding to the food. 
the food they kind of stay out of they don't really poop in that i'm surprised they poop in the water more than anything because that's a much smaller area than the food they do like to sit in the food but they've gotten a little bit too big to actually get into there they do actually almost make more noise than the adults as chicks I had a couple of adult quail that um, they didn't really make any noise at all but these chicks are a little bit louder they're almost half the size that they're going to be and it's almost been a week a little over a week maybe so it's quite remarkable that they're almost halfway to the size they're going to get these are the jumbo katornics and I was actually kind of impressed by their eggs I hatched them from eggs and they started out you know the eggs are about maybe half to a third of the size of chicken eggs so I was quite impressed by the size of the eggs hopefully I've got enough little hens in here that they'll lay a good amount of eggs and you know I'll probably hatch a few of those out of the 16 eggs 17 hatched which you know I bought them off of eBay so I have to say you know that's not too terrible it's the middle of winter so you know temperature wasn't exactly ideal for them um, but I've, I've got a decent amount and I hope this will be a good start well, there will be more updates, and I'll give you more updates on Flopsy with his little saddle egg disorder and everything. And I will let you know how he's doing. If you like the video, then uh, like and share and view my other videos. See what all I've got going on. And 